Hello my beautiful people and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Michi. On today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a Christmas feast. Were you worried that you weren't gonna know how to cook shit this year and your Christmas party was just gonna be ruined? Well, do not fret, I am here to save your bottom. I will walk you step by step on how to do everything. So stick around and join me for this holiday cooking. Are you ready? Let's get started. The name of today's dish is called Santa's stuffing. And I will tell you what kind of ingredients you might need. So pay attention, all right? Because I do not want you to be coming back to this video, to my channel, and rewinding me like Grab a notebook, grab a pencil, and write it down. I don't like to repeat myself. Comprende? The most important thing you're gonna need for this meal is, drum roll, you're gonna need meat. Yeah, you could use turkey for this, but I wanted it to be a little more holiday-ish. So I grab a midget Santa from my local deli. It wasn't even that expensive. It was probably like 25 bucks. So very cheap, very affordable. You know, it already comes tied up and with duct tape on its mouth so it won't scream. So I suggest you go that route. It'll make it look like you put a little bit more effort into your cooking. Now the container I'm gonna be using to mix all the ingredients together is just a cauldron I had lying around somewhere in my house. You can use any deep pot of your taste. What else? Here it is. First step, we're gonna to wanna to grab our canola oil spray. And you wanna coat evenly all around and the bottom of your deep pot. We're gonna set this aside while we stuff our Santa meat. Let's carefully grab our Santa and set him down on the table gently. We're gonna stuff our Santa with our third cup of gems. You can either use your hand or you can use a spoon. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna use my hand just, just because. Just grab a little bit at a time, okay? So you're gonna just, you know, grab them and shove them up. Okay, our Santa is all stuffed now. We can grab our deep dish and we're gonna lay him neatly and gently inside like that. It's all right if his little legs stick out, no big deal. Next, we're gonna wanna spread Santa's beard all around and on top of him, all right? Just gently grab a little bit at a time, or a lot, if it all comes out. And you're just gonna wanna take it apart, like so, and put it all over him, all right? Just like that. Now we're gonna be adding our last two solid ingredients into our concoction. We're gonna take our third cup of Frosted Flakes and I usually just add this to one of the sides of the container. Uh, it doesn't have to go all the way around, it will give it the same flavor. So just, you know, sprinkle it on there. We're gonna be taking our baby pumpkin and we're just gonna toss it in just like this. We don't need to cut it up or anything. That is the beauty of this dish. It pretty much cooks itself like that, good. Let's take 
half a cup of water and we're just gonna drop it in. My water might be a little thicker than yours, I don't know why. I already called the plumber and he should be in by tomorrow, but yeah, it's weird. Don't judge me and my water. I'm gonna use the back of the spoon to just dump it out. I'm gonna add our tomato juice. Okay, using our handy dandy lemon, lime, lemon, whatever, squeezer, we're gonna put our half a lime in here and we're just gonna squirt it all over. Make sure you get all the sides really well, okay? This is what's gonna give it its sourness. Now comes the one that you have to eyeball. You might have kids that, eh, I don't like spice. Just put as much as you would like. So we're just gonna do it to the sides as well. Make sure you don't get it in Santa's eyes because that will hurt. Poor thing, you know? We don't want it to feel pain. The last ingredient we're gonna need is a little bit of our Folgers. We're gonna sprinkle this on top. Just a little bit to give it its roastiness flavor. Just like that. I think that should be good. Now come with me. We're gonna take this little concoction to the oven to cook for about three hours and then join me to see the final product. Let's go. We are going to be setting our oven to 400 degrees. All right, folks, here it is. Doesn't that look amazing? It looks edible, right? Pat yourselves on the back because you guys did a fantabulous job at this. That is all the time we have for today's show, folks, but I hope you can join me on my next Cooking with Michi. Now, before we go, I want to wish every single one of you guys out there a very, very Merry Christmas. Please be safe, go open up all your Christmas presents, go eat lots of good food and go have fun. Just, you know, don't throw caution to the wind. I want to see everyone in one piece after the holidays. Now don't forget to give me a little thumbs up and comment down below how your Christmas went, what you got for Christmas or what you wanted, what you ate, anything. As always, I will see you guys next time. Peace.